Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's one of my favorite parts of the show when I get to spill some good hot pipe and tea with my home girl, Danny Canada, <laughs> deputy editor of FASEP. Yes. Girl. Let's yes. just go ahead and jump right on in. Oh, there's so much the to unpack. People are very busy. Why are we always very busy in Atlanta, first of all? Let me I, you just know, say that. this is this is the city for the busy. I don't know. Every, everything happens here. There's a lot of shade, a lot of accusations, a lot of rumors, a lot of people spilling. A lot, a lot of, of tea men spilled. Yeah. So that brings me to Nene and also Wendy Williams. We yes. know that they have a beautiful friendship these they do. days, which okay. are great. But is there a little tension? There's a little tension. So Wendy Williams was on her show and she just could not wait to tell everyone Nene's business. She said she just got got a text message from Nene and she said she's quitting The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not only that, she hinted that Nene is holding this huge secret. She has this big weight that she's carrying and everybody's speculating like what's going on. Is she sick? Uh, Wendy said that it's not about her husband Greg because he's cancer free. He's fine, but there's allegedly well, some huge secret. Well, why would the people put illness on Nene? Why does she have to be I, sick for it to be I a big thing? Know, it could be something great. It could be something great, but the way that Wendy was hyping it up and I'm so emotional and I'm misty now. So so oh, that prompted Nene to respond and she said, who said that? Literally, who said that? Mm. And she also said private conversations should be left private. But that's kind of not how it works, especially on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it's interesting to hear her say that. But that was off. That was off it camera. It was off camera. You know? That's true. Wendy so she's just, never been on the She Real thought she was just venting to her homegirl. And then Wendy was like, oh, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Ooh. So. All right. Well, we all watched Watch What Happens Live as yes. we saw Portia yes. and Andy confronting her with a question. It yeah. seemed that she was challenged with it. Yeah, so Portia had a little trouble on Watch What Happens Live. She was on there and she's talking about her re-engagement to Dennis McKinley. They are re-engaged now they're going to get married. Um, and Andy just asked her flat out, well, do you trust him? And she said, well, I feel like you always ask me if I trust him. He's like, well, I want to know. And so she kind of fumbled and was just like, well, just pray for us. You know, we're trying to work through our issues. And this comes after there was a video of Dennis McKinley out with four women at 4 a.m. at a diner. And people were speculating, like, why are you not at home with your wife-to-be? But mm. according to him, he has a good reason. He well, said he said he owns several bars and restaurants. I think three clubs, four restaurants. He's like, of course, I'm going to be out late, you know. So maybe these are like some employees. We don't know. So hopefully, hopefully everything is fine at home. It's good if they're employees. If they're employees, it's there fine. Was a employee appreciation. Exactly. You know, but, morning. <laughs> morning. Exactly. Yeah. But people are always going to speculate. Like, what what is he up to now? So you know, uh, that's goes. tough. What's tough is everybody in the world right now is mad at 50. So what did 50 do? 50 you know, keeps the people upset with he's him. He's a troll. Oh and my he God. loves it. He loves to troll everybody, especially when it comes to power. So this is the final season of Power, as we all know. <laughs> and the big question is, who shot Ghost? Mm. So 50 knows everybody's wondering this. And he pretended or acted like he was upset with stars. Mm. And he leaked the ending of Power. He leaked the spoiler. I'm not going to tell you what it was. But he showed everyone who killed Ghost. Allegedly. And then he went back and deleted it and said, oh, you know, LOL, just kidding, and posted an interview from Courtney Kim where she said there are several endings. They shot several endings to keep everyone on their toes. So we don't really know if it's true, but on his page, you could clearly see someone shooting who we think is ghost. Oh, my God, fifth. Yeah. Just change them in. Yeah, they, just they, change they probably just need to scrap that whole thing yeah, scrap and that do one. something and else. Let's go there the are next. several leaks out there, so we don't know what's going on. Uh, leaking. Leaking. All, All right, leaks. Jamie Foxx. <laughs> he some in interesting information. Yeah, he, he about that. some info himself about his parents. Now, this was interesting. He was on the Graham Norton show, and he explained that his parents are divorced, and despite that, they still live with him together. So his parents haven't been together in 25 years. He said 12 years ago, his mom came over. She was like, I'm just going to come hang out the house, and she never left. So now there's the mom and the dad. But let me just tell you, see, I've been to a party at Jamie Foxx's house. I'll, I'll break this down. Break this down now. The way Jamie <laughs> Fox house is set up. It, like he never wing. had to see them in like five wing. years. I believe it. I, you, I believe it. Such an amazing I, home. I absolutely believe it. I feel like mama's on the east wing, right. daddy's on the west wing. Right. But Jamie said that sometimes mama creeps over to the west wing and it's like, no, but but daddy's dating. And she's like, well, who is this in this house? And dad has to be like, can you leave? Can oh you let my me do God. my business? So. Well, that sounds like a reality TV show, Jamie Fox. It so I'm just here does. To tell you. It does. All right, speaking of reality TV, let's talk about Erica Dixon. Yeah. Yes. She's got Twitter fingers, and it's she, gotten her in trouble. She has Twitter fingers, especially when it comes to her twins. So Erica recently had two twin girls. They're very cute, very adorable. And she decided to tell the world that they are not vaccinated. She said, I'm not vaccinating my kids. They've never been sick. And this caused a firestorm, of course, because people are <laughs> upset that there are anti-vaxxers out there doing this. So 
people are going back and forth with Eric and saying, well, they could get measles, they could get chicken pox, and she's like, that can be cured. Um, she was just firing back at them. It caused a whole firestorm. Actually, model Lear Galore jumped in. Really? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, she has a baby, and she said, I kind of think there's a conspiracy between the government and the pharmacies to get people to get vaccinations, and we don't need it, and it's making people sick. And so it's a whole... It was a whole shenanigan on Twitter. Mm, well, there's a lot going on with Lyra right now, yeah, too. Yeah, girl, all that stuff with P. Yeah. Mm. We'll talk about that next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now, let's talk about Rihanna, and she's not with her billionaire boyfriend yeah, so, anymore, Hassan. Yeah, so Ron, Rihanna and her billionaire boo, Hassan Jamil. Isn't he cute? He is fine. Handsome, right? Hassan. Handsome. They were together for My three God. years. They seemed to be a beautiful, happy couple. She met the family. He was with her family. They were kicking it. Um, but they broke up for undisclosed reasons. We don't know really what happened between them, but people later saw Rihanna hanging out with Drake. Now, as we all know, Drake... They've always been friends. They've always been friends, and Drake declared his love for her publicly at, like, the 2016 VMAs. So people are speculating, like, well, are they doing a thing? But I don't really think so, and I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why. Okay, so they were spotted at ASAP Yams Day. It's this whole celebration for ASAP Yams, yeah, the late I rapper. Yeah, I saw that. And she was actually there with ASAP Rocky. And so people think that there might be something going on between them. They also maybe kind of sort of hooked up. And so she was spotted backstage with him. They looked really happy. They went to the British Fashion Awards together. So if I were to bet Miss Quad, I would say Rihanna is dating ASAP Rocky and not Drake. But why does she have to be dating either of them? She could just she be could minding just be her hanging business. out. Exactly. I don't understand when we see someone young and attractive mm -hmm. and young and handsome, we automatically put them together. We it do. Is so she could stay next to anybody and they're dating. So I'm going to stand next to her because gonna stay, oh, I'm going to stand next to her because I need those rumors in my life. So. <laughs> So next you'll be dating Rihanna. I'll be right there. I have no problem with that. Danny, I love having you here. Thank you so much. For more on the scoop, on these scoops and more, you'd want to go to Boss Up on all social media platforms.